Welcome back to the channel. Hi guys. So we are going to do another installation video, but this time it's not on Rosie. It's on good old JJ. So Josh, what are we going to be installing? We are going to be installing some headlights. We've got this Jeep. I bought it. It's a 2017. And I've been running the stock headlights, which are absolutely terrible for the whole time since. And it's to the point where I absolutely hate driving the Jeep at dark because I can't see anything. Luckily, the Jeep, we barely drive it anyways. We just drive it to trails and stuff. So it's not a daily driver for us. But we finally got some headlights. So we're gonna be installing some headlights. These bad boys right here. Yep. So hopefully they'll make our visibility a lot better. Yeah, hopefully these ones help. Um, just to be completely honest with you guys, is an Amazon company. They reached out to us to see if we would do an installation video and a review for their headlights. So I did get these headlights for free. I think they look pretty sharp. Um, I'm going to give an honest review. So if I don't like them, I don't like them. We're gonna run them for a while and give you an honest opinion. First thing first, we have to go take this Jeep and on the road. how bad those original headlights really are in the dark. Yeah, show you how crappy these stock headlights are. All right, let's get this turn on the road. All right, so right now is the stock headlights. Can't really see a dang thing. And if I turn my brights on, yeah, it gets a little bit better. But let's go back to the regular daytime running lights. And you can't see, I don't know, 30 yards in front of me. Here's the brights again. Here's a quick video of what the headlights look like on our garage. And I'm gonna kind of use this as a reference point because when we get the headlights installed, we are gonna have to aim the headlights again. So I know they're gonna be right in the middle of that door. And then here's the brights. Let's see what we got. These are seven inch round headlights. We have removal and installation instructions that come, in, come included. These are seven inch round LED headlights. Let's open it up. Look at those beauties. All right, here's the headlights. There is one. And here's the other one. And it comes with some adaption cables, depending on what kind of Jeep you have. I'm sure when we open it up, and get those ones out, we'll see which ones we need. So it comes with just the, the adaption cables, which should all be plug and play and some zip ties. So it's time to get those ones, the old crappy ones out of there. All right, so after we do that, we gotta remove the grill. So what we have to do, these, there's all these little body panel plugs. So we're gonna go ahead and pop those all out. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And I don't think there are any down there. So I think it's just those, those six we have to pop out and then we just gotta yank it. So right now we're going to take these six body pins off of it. So what you gotta do is you can either get a body tool or body pin tool or uh, just a regular flathead screwdriver. So what you wanna do, these, they have these little grooves in there. So you just put that 
tooth right in that little groove and then you pop it right up and then after that you just squeeze this right in there and you just pull it out so we're gonna repeat that on all six of them we're just gonna keep it moving All right, once you have the six out, the next thing we need to do is disconnect the wiring harness for the turn signals. So we're come over here. All right, so you gotta just pull this red pin back. So you just pull it back. Once you hear it pop, you squeeze it and pull. And that disconnects that. Now what we're gonna do is just pull the rest of the grill off. There are six small little clips that just strap onto a bar in there. So we're gonna just go to go ahead and pull. You're gonna have to give a little bit of force, but you're not gonna break it as long as you got everything out of there. So you just pull it out. So once you get this out, just put it aside. It's a lot harder for us to pull these out just because we have the winch in the way. If you don't have the winch, or if you don't have a 12,000 pound winch, it might be a lot easier for you. All right, so the next step of the installation is gonna be taking out these headlights. So there are these four screws here. And down here. You're gonna unfasten those to loosen the headlight from the retaining ring. Once that's removed, we disconnect the wiring from the back of the headlight. These four screws are all T15 Torx fit. So we're just gonna take them out. And you just pull it out and look at the clip again. It's another one of those stage, uh, two stage clips. So you just pull that red pin back and you're gonna squeeze this back piece. Then you're just gonna pull. And that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. down this is another one of those clips same thing on the other side just pull pinch and then work it way work it loose and it's off all right so go to the box we have these two pigtails you just have to pay attention which one fits your specific jeep since we have a jk we're going to use the one with the black top you can see the pins inside are all straight and it's going to connect perfect with our connector as all those connections are all straight right in the line if you look at the other one it has a little hump in the middle so the middle pins a little higher or a little lower depending how you're looking at it so this one will not fit you have to use this one so my suggestion is use some dielectric grease whenever you're working with electrical components what you're gonna do is just take a little squirt of it and pop a little, just a little bit on each of those connectors. It helps to avoid some corrosion. So you just do that. Now it's on there. And I'm gonna also try to do it on the other side. Pop some on. You just need a little bit of this stuff. You don't need a lot. So once you have your dielectric grease on, you're gonna take the one side of the connector, the only side that will fit, you're gonna pop it on there till you hear it click, and then you're gonna move the red pin back down. Just like that. Now you're gonna take the pigtail from the headlight, and it's just gonna plug right in there. 
just like a regular wall outlet. So you just plug it in there and you are good to go. So next thing to do is I want to take our, our little ring off of the headlight. Remove the clear plastic that's protecting it. And you're just gonna wrap it right along it. And then you gotta find the correct orientation. All right guys, so to make sure that this gets properly installed, there's these little knobs all the way across the square ones. And on the retaining ring, you have these square little cutouts. There's one here, one here, one here. So you wanna make sure that these knobs line up with those grooves or else it's not going to fit. And you're also going to want that DOT SAE on the top. So you just tighten them all down once you have it in place. And remember, it's just plastic, so don't over tighten it. All right, and that's the first one. All right, now for the second one, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have Ashley install this other one. So it's Ashley, it's your turn. Alright guys, before I install this second headlight, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Those new ones definitely look a lot nicer. They are pretty sharp. Alright, let's get to installing. Got the dielectric grease in there. Not going anywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and get this on here. Mm -hmm. We want the DOT right side up. I'm gonna make sure that my markers on there are lined up with the markers on here. So right now I'm just going to go into the Jeep and make sure the headlights work. Not going to lie, these headlights give it an, a Transformers vibe. Woo! And they all work. Alright, so now all we have to do is grab the grill, set it back in there, and put those body plugs back on. Oh, and for reference, Here's those, I guess there's five, five plugs. That's all it is. And if you guys don't have a, a big winch, that's not an issue for you guys. It'll be a lot easier for you. And I'm just going to pop them in. And that's all for all those clips down on the bottom are all in. Now I just got to put these body panels back in. And to do that, you just line it up. You push them through. And then you push this little piece down. And you're just going to do it for all six of those. And that's all. That's not all just yet. 
We still have to plug back in our turn signals. Just gonna come back down here and plug these on. Go to the other side. Until it clicks, and then you push in the red. And that's all, everything's on. And that's the look. I think I like them so far. They look like they're angled down a lot, so we might have to angle them. Let's go try these guys out on the road. All right, right now we're running with the, just regular running lights on, and it's an absolute huge, huge improvement from the stock OE lights. The light is a white light, and it's a lot brighter, and it's not that nasty yellow light that you get off that Mulligan's. So this is just a regular running light right now. Uh, go ahead and flick on my brights, and you can see huge difference in those two lights. It's absolutely impressive. So I would say I'm definitely impressed with these lights. Now, we just got them. We just put them in. So that we haven't tested any kind of longevity with them. Hopefully it'll last a long time. And hopefully I don't have to do this again and put the regular OE lights in. Alright, it looks like our the aiming of our headlights is actually pretty good. It's right where the other ones were. And that's just regular running lights. I'm gonna flick on that brights. It just lights up the whole world. So it's pretty nice. Here's a better look of the new lights versus the old lights, both in high beams and regular running lights. All right guys, that's it for the video. I definitely think these headlights are worth it. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. So if you guys want to get them, go ahead and grab them. I think they are pretty nice. And they kind of look like, somewhat like the JL headlights. So I think that's kind of neat that they kind of try to go with a JL type headlight. All right, guys, make sure you head on over to our Instagram page. Follow us down here at Ohio Off-Road Adventures. That way you get sneak peeks for when we are releasing our next video. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video. And guys, we hope to see you on the trail very soon. See you guys on the trail. Guys, take care. Thanks a lot.